Hey guys, Jeff from BackyardWaterGarden.com coming at you with another short video. Now if you like videos like this, nice short videos, helpful information, please consider subscribing. It really helps us out. With that said, let's move on. Today's topic is pond aeration. Now as you can see, the waterfall behind me, that's aerating my pond right now. If you have a fountain or a waterfall, both of those things are doing the trick. Problem is, it only goes down so far. All right, so you're probably wondering, what's the deal with the oxygen in my pond? Why is that important? Well, let me tell you, there's two different kinds of bacteria that live in your pond. There's anaerobic and aerobic. Now the anaerobic, that's the nasty stuff. That's the stuff you want to get rid of. That's the stuff that when you clean your pond out, you may smell like a stinky egg smell. That's the anaerobic bacteria. Now that kind of bacteria thrives where there's no oxygen. So in order to get rid of that, you gotta pump oxygen into the water. Now the best way to do that is to get a bubbler. A pump hooked up to a diffuser will do the trick just fine. Put it at the bottom of your pond, turn it on, and the bubbles infuse oxygen into the water. All right, so let's talk about your pond water for a minute. Think of your pond water like layers on a cake, okay? There's three layers to your pond. There's the top layer, the kind that mixes with the oxygen very easily. And that's what my waterfall is taking care of right now. Then you have the bottom layer that's not so full of oxygen. It's denser and deeper. And then you have a middle layer, the transition layer. When your pond has those layers, it's called water stratification. Now, what's the deal with water stratification? Why is that a bad thing? Well, the reason is, in the fall and spring, what happens is, with the temperature change, it stirs up your water, mixes it all around, your, your fish get caught in this mix of water, and they could suffocate. Now with a pond this size, you don't have to worry too much about water stratification. This pond's about three feet deep. It's when you get into the deeper ponds where water stratification can really take its toll on your fish. So the best way to get rid of your stratified water is to simply add an air pump, like this one here. Simply plug it in. These air pumps are nice and quiet. There are two ports on this particular one. Pick up this diffuser, place this in the bottom of your pond. There's an arrow on this, you can see. You wanna make sure that it's the right way because these tubes don't come installed. This one's been used already. And you wanna plug it in, throw it in the bottom of your pond. Voila, instant aeration. It really disrupts the water quite well. Now in the summer months, you don't have to worry so much about having a bubbler in your pond. But in the winter months, now that's a different story. You want to make sure you have the water moving around so that the top doesn't cap over with ice. If that happens, it will trap poisonous gases below the surface and it could poison your fish. Just a few more quick points about the pond aeration. If you have a sick fish or a fish that needs to be quarantined, a bubbler is a must and make sure you have one on hand. All right guys, that's about all I have today. Nice quick video, like I said. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. And until next time, Enjoy your backyard water garden.